you are curious why I am where I am, it's because I'm too embarrassed to film in front of my family. So I decided to lock myself up in the semi-functional storage unit known as my garage. In an interview earlier this morning, Trump talked about releasing a lot of restrictions regarding the coronavirus in workplaces because we're not built to be locked up inside. Our people are full of vim and vigor and energy. They don't want to be locked into a, a house or an apartment or some space. They, it's not for our country. It, we're, not, we're not built that way. I agree. We get all anxious inside our homes that there's nothing we want more than to be locked up at work for eight hours, transfer home, and then be locked up there for the other 16. But we can socially distance ourselves and go to work. You can clean your hands five times more than you used to. We can socially distance ourselves and go to work. Trump, I don't know what type of office building you're running your business in, but where I'm from, there is no such thing as social distancing in an office full of cubicles. The only reason Trump wants people back in the workforce is because he's worried about his own labor. On one end, he's spending less money on physical labor, which is always great. But on the other end, he's spending less money on physical labor. Trump has never worked harder in his life. I swear I heard him say, this is why I'm holding the Mexicans hostage. I look at the two digit numbers and that's why I pay them minimum wage to handle my finances. He said that, word for word, I promise. We lose thousands and thousands of people a year to the flu. We don't turn the country off. We lose much more than that to automobile accidents. Well, that might be the only true thing to ever come out of Trump's mouth. On a less political note, workplaces and schools are now switching to an online format to accommodate the coronavirus. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in a meeting, the first thing that I think of when I have to use the restroom is mute the mic so they can't hear me. <laughs> well, what happens when you mute the mic but forget to turn off the webcam. Thanks to Jennifer, we don't have to worry about this hypothetical situation. Enjoy. And then in reality, I've heard that social work kind of has very high standards and, and... Moral of the story, you can still hear the meeting from the speaker even if you have the webcam turned away from you. That's all I've got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Lockdown with Dawood. If you guys like this type of video, go ahead and comment or let me know if you didn't like it, go ahead, comment, let me know, tell me it was terrible, tell me that I could have done better, and tell me that I'll never be successful in life. I'll enjoy all of it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.